Because let's be honest, it's not that easy, but it it does work. It is the best way to, one, it's a really solid boundary. And two, it protects you and gives you the space that you need to heal without them trying to drag you back into the drama. And so um, we're going to talk about how to do it because it is hard and they are always trying to lure you back in with some tactic. And that can drive you a little bit crazy. So I'm going to talk a bit about things that have happened to me. Please do get involved. Please share your experiences of going no contact, what you found difficult, what's worked for you. Um, and I'll answer any questions that you've got as well. So let's let's get chatting. But first off, if you don't know what no contact is or you're struggling with it, I do recommend getting a hold of my book, <laughs> if you haven't seen. Um, it does have a section all about how to go no contact and how to put boundaries in place and i'm not just saying it because i wrote it but it is good and it's only 99p on amazon not for the hard copy but 99p bargain download it probably watch it over a brew uh, read it over a brew sorry um, but it does help you with how to put in no contact or even low contact and do the gray rock method so if you've got children then it teaches you all those different ways of managing communication with a narcissist so i thought i had it sorted yeah i thought i knew don't respond and i was really good at that i was really good with that narc i didn't respond they baited me numerous times and i always ignored i didn't respond even though i sometimes oh i really wanted to say something but i didn't and that's hard in itself, isn't it? Make, just restraining yourself because sometimes you ju oh, sometimes they say something and uh, you want to be on it. Um, and sometimes they say something and you think they can't mean that. It must be a genuine mistake. So I'll just reply. It's easy. This will get sorted. Sure enough, three hours, three days down the line, you are back in the mire of it. And you're kicking yourself. You're going, I knew I shouldn't have responded. I knew it was pointless. I personally, like I say, with that, with the narc, I was pretty good. I was pretty good. I ignored. I didn't give them anything. And there was, they got nothing from me. No response whatsoever. And like I say, it was pretty painful at times. I wanted to, but I knew that that would frustrate them more that I didn't. However, I don't, uh, maybe a year later, I'd been practicing this. I was good at it. I lost, I lost about 48 hours of my life having a well it was a twitter argument with a narcissist and i should have got no contact and i was really annoyed at myself because i didn't but it really is a good example of how easy it is to get drawn in so what happened was i tweeted something about probably parental alienation to be honest and someone else had responded and let's be, it was a ridiculous response and you know when you just read something and think, they can't have meant that. That's that's a really crazy thing to say. So you go back and you try and reason with them and say, not quite sure you read my tweet correctly, what I meant was. But no, they bounce back and they're equally crazy with their response. But you keep trying to get through. You keep trying with reason and logic and damn right obvious and nothing gets through to them. But then you kind of get addicted. I did. I was like, well, I'm going to have to respond to that. And I was waiting, like literally with bated breath. When is my next, t t when's the next tweet coming back? What are they going to say this time? And it, I suppose the adrenaline was getting me, I was quite excited by what was going on. But it kept going on and it, it eventually I woke up and thought, oh my God, I've wasted 48 hours of my life i've got nowhere because this person is not going to listen they are they are so blinded by their own belief that it doesn't matter what way around you go didn't matter what i said so obviously i stopped and i went no contact at that point but it was so easy to get drawn back in and you might have done that yourself you might have thought i've got this i've got I'm really good at grey rocker i'm really good at no contact and then they either 
takes you something that is so absurdly ridiculous that you think, oh, okay, well, I can respond to that, that's easy. Um, you're in it, and you might find found with yourself. You got a little bit addicted to playing the game, waiting for what craziness is coming back, because you've been used to that. You've been used to that kind of crazy talk. You've been used to that... Um, that word salad where they they just trap you in this like spiral of craziness but you have got used to it and it does kick off a load of chemicals within you that is an addiction because like I say you're used to it this is you've kind of become accustomed to communicating in that way and also you've suddenly found your voice and you want to be heard so you're a little bit more forceful with what you say as well. And like I say, you might then lose a couple of days, a week maybe, certainly a few hours of your life and end up thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? So how do you go no contact without losing your mind? Essentially, it is about being aware of those things it is simply not responding, not getting drawn into anything, no matter how crazy and ridiculous they they are coming at you, no matter what their excuse, because they, they will lie. I've known narcissists say that they're dying or they're in hospital, and it is all just to get your response. And it's, once you're in, it's hard to get out. So... No contact means no contact. It means no response. It means, also means not checking on their social media, not commenting on the social media, not talking to your friends about them, not talking to anyone about them. And I don't mean that as in not talking about anyone, not talking about them to, as part of your recovery. I mean, you know, not trying to find things out about them. And that's hard because, you know, you break up with someone, we all do a bit of, you know, we all do a bit of Facebook stalking, guilty as charged sometimes, but it just feeds that addiction for you. It really does stop you from making that clean break and going cold turkey. Obviously, if you've got children, you can't go no contact because you have to find a way to communicate for the sake of the kids. Again, some great tips in there. If you've not got it, find Amazon. Um, so you have to manage your communication when you do have children. So has anyone got any comments about no contact? Any any questions about no contact? What's your experiences been? Have you found it difficult? What was the most difficult thing? What has helped you? Um, anything you like. I'm here ask the question I'm I've let myself down by getting involved and it, so I know how easy it is there's no judgment whatsoever um but I also know that it is the most powerful way not only of getting over it but also yeah not giving them what they want they want your attention they want your supply and so when if you go no contact then you're not giving them that and so it's really powerful for them to get a very clear message, a very strong boundary. And if you're not very good at setting up boundaries and implementing them, this is a strong place to start. It's essentially like putting that first barrier up. And then you can build the other boundaries from there. And maybe as you, as you move along and with other people, those boundaries can be, can be moved. But... It is the very first, it's your first line of defense. I was going to, I was going to add something. That, oh, okay. I'm going to say it because it's a little bit crazy, but first line of defense against, there's a film where that says it's your first line of defense against, if anyone knows, sign in because that just, just popped into my head. I'm on one a bit tonight, aren't I? I'm a bit, I've got one. Um, so yeah, anyway, no contact. Anyone got any comments, questions? Any stories they'd like to share? I know it's something people do struggle with. Um, 
because like I say, when you break up under a normal breakup, you don't just stop talking to them. Most of the time there's some kind of, you got kind of back out slowly, don't you? You have the initial, I don't think we should be together. You find a way to, you communicating through that withdrawal and eventually you either, the communication just peters out or you find a way where you can communicate okay and and there's no jealousy there's no animosity there's there's it's you can communicate healthily or you just don't communicate anymore but with a narcissist if you try and do it that way where you back out slowly they will take every bit of communication as being a sign that they've still got control over you and so putting in a no contract firm boundary is pretty much you saying to them no more no more no more control you're not controlling me anymore i am in control of myself and this is my this is my first boundary and obviously that infuriates them and they will they will try everything they can they will be nasty they will be lovely they will use other people particularly children or other family members or friends to get round your your boundary but where you can stick to it do because like I say it gives you the space to heal it gives you the space to one mentally process what's gone through to physically allow your body to kind of return to some kind of status status stasis even so normality um and you need that because when you're still communicating with them they are still pus pushing your buttons that trauma is kept alive and like i say when you've got kids obviously it is a lot harder um but gray rock is the best and if you don't know how to do it one last time the book it's in the book all about gray rock which again it is something people struggle with because it's not normal it's not normal for any of us to communicate in this way um and it is kind of unique really and the best way to describe it is that going cold turkey like you would if you were um, a drug addict you would have to come off by going cold turkey because even though it's painful in the short term in the long term it is proven to be to be effective so i'm just gonna see if um there's any comments your buttons that trauma is kept alive sorry that was my, my tablet it played so i can't see any comments at the moment um if you have commented and they've not cropped up then i will answer them later on um what is your experience of no contact has it been easy? Has it been hard? What have you tripped up on? What has been the most difficult thing? What would what advice would you give someone else who is about to go non no contact or is deciding should I go no contact with the narcissist? Bring it on. If not, I will leave it there and you can you can obviously watch this later and make a comment and I will get back to you. Um, yeah, so there we go. Whistle stop tour of no contact.